Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with Season 1 Episode 4 of my Roma career mode. We're back on Fiverr's Realism mod, of course, on Ultimate Difficulty. Here today, we have the Europa League Final against Borussia Mönchengladbach. We have an opportunity to win our first piece of European silverware. But don't fret guys I will be doing season two we could even do season three or four until we win the UEFA Champions League so if you haven't watched the last episode highly recommend you do we managed to win the league title the Scudetto and we also won the Coppa Italia we have a massive opportunity here today to win a treble also let me know players you'd like me to sign for next season Alright, we could have been against PSV Eindhoven, but Gladbach have made it to the final with us. Let's get stuck into them. Now, we're playing at Arsenal. That's where the Europa League final is. I guess it's a neutral venue for the German and the Italian side. Gladbach, Zachariah, a lot of good players. Dzeko, back in England. Pellegrini! Nice check shot at Jan Sommer early on. Hoffman, Gladbach go forward. Pella, nice little piece of skill. Lazaro, former Newcastle lad. Smalling comes in. The two former league, Premier League players come. Get it out, come on. Christy, Lopez, and Roma look to bring it out from the back. Rudiger. How's he gotten caught there? Oh my god, what a save by Lopez. And um, I can't be doing that. This is a this is a European final. Zachariah comes up clutch for Gladbach. Thurman. Second half now. Roma leading the first 60 by a goal to nil. Vertout tries to win it back. Can't. Jacko. Wins it, Lamella, back in London. The former Spurs man scores at the Emirates. And I'm sure the Arsenal neutrals looking on would hate that. Punches the flag, the Tim Gayhill. It's Eric Lamella on loan from Roma. Oh, he's a player, should we make him on a permanent deal next year? Depends how much money we get. But regardless, 1-1. This Europa League final is still alive. Come on, Roma. Zachariah looking for his second. Pastore fresh off the bench. Jacko. Pastore. The former PSG man. Still has it in him. Edin. Jacko. Please! <sighs> My God. <laughs> My God. <laughs> These fixtures, man. I don't know if my heart... <laughs> my stress levels can handle this mod. It is tooth and nail. It always goes to the the final wire. Why why can't we just like cruise and have a calm time in these fixtures? Crikey. 2-1. That's how it ended. My god, what a what a fierce, fiery opposition Gladback were. But we've gone and done it. We've won a treble. Obviously not the treble, because we haven't won the Champions League. But a good result for this Roma side. We've definitely saved them and rebuilt them from where they are in real life. <laughs> well, we've saved them this season because they finished in seventh. We'll need to rebuild them in season two, I guess. But AS Roma are your Europa League champions. Let's go. So there's the league table again. I'm going to spend the rest of this video now going through the stats. But mostly to get your guys' feedback and suggestions of players you would like me to sign. Now, I do want to focus on, in this series, like I did at the start, I want to focus on former Jose Mourinho players that he's managed. But I'm also open to signing players from former Jose Mourinho, Mourinho clubs he's, he's, um, he's managed. Like, for example, he managed Porto. Oh my god, Man City won the Champions League against Juventus 3-2. Okay. <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, for example, Luis Diaz wasn't managed under Jose, but he's been good. He was a former Porto player. 
You know what I mean? But the main thing I want to know is, should I bring back any Roma legends? Like, should we bring back uh, Makinos, uh, Mo Salah, maybe Adrian? But here are the stats for the players. Pellegrini plus three, Jacko minus one, 35. Uh, Luis Diaz plus four, Christine plus three, Vertout plus two, Lamella plus one, could sign him on a permanent spin... Spinazzola going up as well. Smalling's gone down, unfortunately. I'm surprised Alonso went down to three. Um, Diawara plus two. Yeah, Pedro minus four. Giroud minus three. So there is still a a fair bit amount of dead wood that we could look to move on. But Ed and Dzeko, 42 whopping goals. So unsurprisingly, the second top goal scorer was Vertout. My DMs scored 20 goals between them. I know Pellegrini is young, but man. Uh, Diaz, first season at Roma, plus four, 10 goals. Mkhitaryan with nine. Giroud with eight. Eric Lamella, hmm, maybe being a little bit inconsistent. Pedro did all right, only playing 33 games, picking up seven goals, though. But there is the team. 4-2-3-1. Look, I'm actually low-key liking this formation. Um, I might need to use it more in career modes. There is potential job openings. More or less curious. But these are all potential career modes that we can do in the future. I definitely will be sticking around for Season 2 with Roma. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek at the end. So, 63 games, 3 losses, 6 draws. <laughs> what a crazy title race. Uh, youth Academy wise as well, nothing really focused on too much this season. So we'll end season one and we'll start season two at the end here because I'm curious to see our transfer budget. But they want me for another season at Roma. So here is season two of the Roma career mode. We had 20 million last year for starting. What's our transfer budget at season two because we have a bit of a look? Okay, 60 million pounds. Potentially could be more. And our friendlies against Arsenal, Benfica, and Atletico Mineiro as well. Okay, so not a crazy start to the friendlies next season. So 60, 70 million pounds. If we sell some players as well, that is a lot of cash to rebuild. So, let me know in the comments, players you would like me to sign. I want to bring in sort of one world-class former Roma player. For example, Allison. we could bring in as a goalkeeper. Mo Salah as well. He could be leaving Liverpool in real life. Uh, Marquinhos is one. Let me know former Roma players. Or maybe I should just sign a former Jose Mourinho player uh, to come in. But I definitely want to try and rebuild this Roma side even further and make it into a competitive Champions League team next season. So stay tuned for Season 2 of this FIFA 21 AS Roma career mode on FIFA's Realism mod. Coming out tomorrow, I'll read the comments over the next 24 hours. Let me know players you would like me to sign and we'll start Season 2. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we can make top four. Hopefully we can retain our Coppa Italia performance <laughs> and, and, and try and go for it again. And come on, I want to try and win the Champions League. I'm going to be throwing all my eggs into the Champions League basket next season. But we need to build a team that can be competitive over two fronts. Like, you can be, you can take your foot off the gas a little bit easier in the Europa League early rounds, like we did this season. Like, we didn't even, we, we comfortably qualified, got to the 32 and round of 16 before we even faced any fierce opposition. But let me know feedback and suggestions in the comments. Hope you guys have been enjoying this Roma career series. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's one of my favorite career modes that I've played this year and it's a lot of fun and it wouldn't be possible without 
FIFA's Realism mod. Like, without the Roma license and Juventus, this career mode doesn't really exist. So a huge thank you to FIFA, the mod leader, and his community team. He's really outdone himself. So stay tuned for Season 2 coming out tomorrow. I'm going to play the outro now. Thanks, guys, for watching. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.